Hey guys, Jesse here, and today I'm going to be unboxing the P Bandai Master Grade Gundam Hazel Custom. Uh, this is a kit everybody wants, pretty much at this point, and everybody hates that it's P Bandai, including myself. I think this one should have really been a regular release, but I contacted my homeboy in Japan, and he was able to pre-order this for me and get this to me. So, thank you, Landon. I pre really appreciate it. So. Let's go ahead and just unbox it right away. If you're not familiar with P Bandai boxes, there's nothing on the sides. You just kind of get this monochrome image on the front, which is a bit of a shame because it's really cool box art, but there's no color. So, a um, little, little info on this kit. Um, yeah, we, we never thought we'd get a Master Grade Hazel because Bandai doesn't really own the Advance of Zeta IP or something. I don't know. I really don't know how it works, but has something to do with Dengeki Hobby, you guys probably know more than me, but uh, this was really a big surprise. And we know that it's based on the Gundam Mark II uh, frame and some other pieces, so we're going to see a lot of that in this kit, so but let's just get started. So first thing you get is this uh, fabric tubing. Uh, this is used for the tubes on the back of the legs and I think the back of the ankles and the backpack, although I don't know if it's used on the backpack in this kit, but we do get that. We have this H2 plate, which is just a small plate of red runner, uh, red pieces, so nothing too exciting. B2 is going to be our yellow plate for I, what looks like Hazel specific parts. So you have some knee parts here. Uh, no black in the, looks like they didn't cut out the black section, so suspect those to be stickers. Actually, I can see the stickers back there, so. But yeah, uh, yellow pieces specific for the Hazel. Um, here are the foil stickers here. We're going to have the eye stickers, fair enough. Camera stickers for the uh, legs. I have no idea what this huge one is for. These are probably for the guns. Not sure what that yellow is for, but that's a little suspect. And then a bunch of black for the uh, vents in the knees. So not too bad. The yellow one kind of has me concerned. Next we have this A2 plate. Now we get into uh, sort of the very, very, very dark navy blue. It's almost black, but it's it's definitely blue. Uh, some more hazel specific parts it looks like. This is definitely a, the chest piece and parts of the beam rifles, beam machine guns. I'm not sure. I don't know much about the hazel. I don't know much about Advanced Zeta at all. I just know I really love the hazel. And I'm glad I waited for the Master Grade. Goes to show that patience uh, pays off. Very nice, beautiful uh, water slide decal sheet. Uh, that sort of bunny or whatever logo, I don't even know. I can't even tell from here, but all of this looks great. Unfortunately, this is the only decal sheet we get, so uh, no warning labels or anything. We get a small little line and, and section here for some caution symbols, but um, I might have to scavenge some other water slides in my collection to add to this kit because uh, this, for me, this isn't enough. Still, this is very nice to get uh, water slides. Although we all know that comes with P Bandai kits. A1 plate is another plate of Hazel specific parts. Uh, you can see the back skirt armor, very, very nice. This is a uh, very nicely detailed, not overly detailed, like um, I would say the, the bootleg um, Magic Toys cust Hazel custom is, but uh, the Mark II 2.0 isn't um, super duper detailed on the armor either, so it kind of matches. And then we get some clear pieces. Looks like we have this huge, nice green clear piece for the camera that runs up and down the entirety of the head. So, very cool. Uh, next, let's look at some frame pieces. I think these are all uh, Mark 2.0 pieces. I'm sure this is... I2, just some leg pieces. Actually, these might be specific to the hazel, but it's it's kind of hard to tell. And then we have this K plate, again, of uh, all frame pieces, but it's kind of hard to tell if it's specific to the hazel or not. Or not. I think these are Mark II 2.0. Actually, I can tell because it says right here 2.0. So these are from the Mark II. The hands and such are the same. We got our polycap sheet. Uh, pretty big, but... We'll see how that, that turns out. Nothing, not too worried about it. Some more Hazel specific stuff. Um, 
We got this for the big shield on the back and the other big shield that he holds. And then we have the beam rifles. Um, unfortunately, it looks like that the beam rifles for one is just two pieces slapped together. So you're going to have a pretty nasty seam, including the uh, ammo packs um, are actually molded onto the gun, which is a bit lazy. I would have to say I'm a little disappointed there. Um, but I think that would be easy enough to just cut and maybe modify so it is removable. But yeah, I'm not too pleased about that. that that's going to be a pain in the ass seam to fix and it's going to be pretty ugly. But them's the brakes, I suppose. More inner frame. This looks very hazel custom only, especially this uh, skirt piece. Although, look at that detail. That's very, very nice inner frame detail. I'm very pleased with that. Same thing with the chest here. It just looks very nice. So, ah, yeah, that this uh, piece was on that, like, H1 plate or whichever it was. So, that was Hazel specific. But, yeah, this is all just in a frame. Nothing too exciting. Um, let's go over here. You get this nice-looking chest. Or, not chest piece. Uh, back piece for the backpack. And we have the head. And this is, again, all Hazel specific. Uh, there seems to be a lot of new stuff here. So, again... Very disappointed that this is P. Bandai because this is mostly new, it seems. Uh, very interesting faceplate here. The whole face is almost like a piece that's pretty interesting. Uh, pilot there, and yeah. So, very cool. This is very big shield. I, I don't know if this is... Because this this uh, shape of the shield is very, um, you know, Zeta Gundam and, uh, and such. So, I, th I think their shields are smaller, though. Either way, very nice, very nice. More frame here, I think. Yeah, this is all Mark II version 2.0. Um, just look at the detail on this frame. That's insane. Super nice. Uh, this is where your uh, cloth pieces are going to go over. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. If I ever get the Mark II 2.0 Master Grade, I, I think I'm going to have to do a half and half, like half armored, half inner frame exposed because... This is some good detail. Another um, runner for Hazel specific. Got the V-fin here and some other knee parts and such. Chest vents as well. H1 play here is the uh, two parts of that large shield that goes on the back. Uh, this is going to be a pretty hefty kit now that I look at it. Because this thing extends out pretty far. But so far, pretty good detail on these parts. Uh, now we're really going to get into it. Here's the beam saber effect parts. Don't care about those. So, here are the leg pieces. Probably the most uh, striking feature of the Hazel Custom. And I'm really liking the panel lining on these. Not too much, but just enough to, to make it look uh, detailed and real. Look at the size of this ankle armor. It's huge. And it's one piece, which is very, very nice. So, I didn't know this kit was this big. I didn't know that Hazel Custom was this big. Uh, this is just a duplicate of that last plate. Our final plate is from the Mark II 2.0. We are not probably not going to use this entire chest piece, or in fact, most of these pieces. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the manual and just see how many how many leftovers we're going to have. Um. So just at a quick glance, looks like we're, oh man, we're almost we're just using a handful of pieces on this runner. Um, otherwise, yeah, we're, we, we have a lot of new kit here. So, you know, really maybe it should have been a regular release, but in any case, yep, this is called the shield booster. I didn't know. So, and then we've got all the, uh, just regular, I guess, Master Grid Assembly. I'm not seeing anything too uh, crazy and out of the ordinary. Um, I'm kind of keeping my eye out for seam lines. I know the gun will definitely have a seam line, uh, but I think that's about it. Everything else seems pretty normal for Master Grade, and fortunately for a modern Master Grade, so we're not going to see many seam lines or any kind of weird construction going on. I will say it is pretty disappointing that the, like, the vents in the legs um, don't have like a black piece in it or anything like that. They're stickers, but it's in a recessed area and I, I think it would be okay. 
to use those, but we'll see. So as you can see, it does come with separate ammo clips, but the gun, yeah, the gun's ammo clips don't separate. That's pretty bad, Bandai, I have to say. The shield is super simple, the shield booster. Could be bad or could be good or bad. We'll see. Um, and looking here, we don't have an action base connector. We're gonna use that fork piece, and that's uh, that's not good. <laughs> it's not good at all. Um, looks like we have some extra like gimmicks here with uh, whatever these uh, tank thingies are. Maybe they're supposed to be grenades or something. Pretty cool. And yeah. Um, overall, looks like a pretty simple kit. And then we have the decal marking guide here. Yeah, definitely gonna have to scavenge some caution warnings and stuff for this kit. But in any case, um, I'm looking forward to building this kit. I've never built the Mark II 2.0, so uh, I wanna see how this frame stacks up. It's very detailed, I can tell you that, but we'll see how it works with all this extra bulk. I do know for a fact those little yellow like bars across the uh, head here are not pieces, so that's gonna have to be painted, but those that should be that should be very simple. Uh, just a brush and some yellow paint should be able to take care of that. It's a small enough area that you don't have to do priming, really. So, but yeah, that's the P Bandai Gundam Hazel Custom. And I'm going to get this built very soon. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Probably a weathering job. Um, but we'll see how it turns out. So, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.